You know, Bella, I have to say that it's so cool to be able to ask you 73 questions at a horse stable. How cool is this? It's, whoa, we have horses Good that morning. are- Good <laughs> this, this is legit. <laughs> How often are you riding these days? Not as much as I used to. And you did this competitively. I did for 10 years. How many competitions did you ride? Um, probably hundreds at this point. When did you really fall in love with the sport? I fell in love with this sport when I realized that horses can be my best friend. Can we go see the horses? Yes, please. Let's go. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Washington, D.C. And how often did you go back home to L.A.? I go back as much as I can, but it ends up being every month or so. What would you say is the biggest difference between the coasts? Um, probably the change of pace or the weather. Okay. What's the most Californian thing about you? Hi, baby. Probably how much I love nature and animals. Nice. What's something that immediately jumps to mind when you think of your childhood? Um, probably my horse, Lego. A horse named Lego? He actually looks just like this one. <laughs> What is your current obsession? My current obsession is chocolate. I never really was a big chocolate fan, but recently I just, obsession came up. What's something everyone needs to read right now? Everyone needs to read Believe Me by Yolanda Hadid. What goes through your mind as you're being photographed? Um, be fierce, be fierce, be fierce, but don't be <laughs> too fierce because apparently it really freaks people out. <laughs> what are you often told when people work with you? Um, I get told that people don't think I'm as nice as I am, and I guess the resting bitch face kind of throws them off. <laughs> Who do you consider to be a mentor? Uh, my mom is my mentor. What qualities of hers do you most admire? Her work ethic and how strong she is. Your Instagram handle is a butterfly. Why is that? Um, I think butterflies really represent me. Growing up in my family, my mother always kind of put that around us. So I guess at this point, I'm just the butterfly of our family. Is it true that you enrolled as a photography student before you started modeling? It's true. I never left the house without my camera. And then I went to school for photography and film at Parsons. So why photography? Why photography? Mm -hmm. um, I just love making art. I, I love lighting. I love holding a camera. I love the, you know, being able to take a picture and set a time and place and capture emotion. Is there an image? Oh, someone wants attention. Is there an image or artist that sparked your passion? You know, Stephen Mizell growing up, I think all of his pictures from the 90s and I mean, up until now, he's such a, an iconic photographer and he actually made me love photography and modeling. And if you can sit down with any of the masters, who would it be for? Who, Annie Leibovitz. What is the bravest thing that you've ever done? The bravest thing I ever did was probably skydiving. And we have a little friend at your five o'clock. Hello, Olivia. I think this is the first time we've ever had a cameo featuring a little goat. This is Olivia. Hi, Olivia. You're so sweet. She's a beautiful rescue goat, and we're very happy she's alive. Is there anything more adorable than this scene that I'm looking at right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you believe in horoscopes or astrology? I believe in horoscopes a little bit more than I should. And what's your sign? I'm a Libra. What qualities of that sign pertain to you? I think probably that I want everybody to be happy all the time and also that I can never make a decision for myself. And who makes you laugh the hardest? Uh, my boyfriend. Who's the most beautiful person you know? My boyfriend. What makes you feel the most beautiful? Um, what makes me feel the most beautiful? Probably when I feel healthy and confident in myself. What's the best makeup trend right now? Um, contouring. Peter Phillips actually taught me how to contour only a few years ago, so thank you, Peter. What would you say to yourself 10 years from now? 10 years from now, I was, excuse me, Olivia. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You're gonna be on a Vogue, baby. <laughs> um, I think 10 years from now, I would tell myself I'm very proud of you. And what would you say to yourself five years ago? Five years ago, keep going. <laughs> nice. So holiday season is approaching. What do you and the family have planned? Um, goodbye, Olivia. For the holidays, I'm doing absolutely nothing. What are the Hadid holiday traditions? We just like to all be together no matter where we are. It doesn't really matter. We all have such busy schedules these days that mm. I think that it's just nice that we can finally take time for ourselves. Hello, beautiful. All right, Bella, show us how to feed this horse. Yeah. Oh, pretty hungry. I know you're oh, next. You're hungry next. Too. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> if you and your family did a secret Santa, who would you hope you would receive a gift from? Um, absolutely Gigi. Who's a celebrity that you've met that's made you the most starstruck? Oh my gosh, Michelle Obama. I love her so much. I think I was shaking more than anything in the world. What TV show should I have watched by now? Um, I hope you watch Seinfeld. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. What's your favorite guilty pleasure late night snack? Um, Pizza Hut, Domino's, anything sweet. Honestly, anything I can get my hands on at this point. What's a favorite show that you've walked in? Uh, favorite show I've walked in. 
Probably closing Fendi at the Chubby Fountain. It was one I could never forget. Before what show have you been the most nervous? Oh, probably my first Chanel show. It was a big dream of mine, so being able to walk that show was huge. On average, how many seconds are you allowed between Victoria's Secret changes mid-show? Oh, um, I think we have like two minutes, but we're pretty quick, so 30 seconds is all we need. Okay, we have baby horses oh here. Oh my gosh, this is Rockstar. Hi, Rockstar. Oh, hi, beautiful. Bella, what do you consider to be your biggest oh. career success? Um, my biggest success is probably my health and my mental state right now. What's something that will always be in fashion no matter how much time passes? I think kindness will always be in fashion. <laughs> <laughs> you can have right. it, please take it. So Bella, what are my chances I can... Uh... Do you want to feed him one? Yes, thought you never asked. All right, this is me attempting to feed a baby. Oh. This is me getting rejected by a baby horse. This is not working. He only wants my kids. <laughs> is it true that you hate getting your nails done? I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Why do you hate getting your nails done? Oh, actually... Why? Because it's a task for me. I would rather be doing things like this. What's the most important thing to you? Um, my family and my friends are the most important things to me. Hi, baby. What's an emoji that sums you up right now? An emoji? Probably any of the very mischievous ones. Okay, feeding time over, and oh! Outside of its stable, we have this beautiful black horse. This is Coco. And this is Chris. <laughs> the Hi, Chris. You're oh, ready to go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. What is something that you wear without fail every single day? Every single day, probably my lip glow. And looking into your crystal ball, tell me what the next big trend will be. The next big trend? I don't know, you should ask Vogue. If there was a lip shade named after you, what would you call it? Something that has to do with butterflies, I'm sure. If you could go back in time and star in any film, what film would that be? Um, probably Cruel Intentions. Okay, Bella, Come I'm not on. that horse. And... Mm. Nailed it. You make that look oh. easy. Goodness, he wants to go home for dinner. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about the modeling industry? The hardest thing about the modeling industry is probably gaining respect from my peers. And what advice would you give someone entering modeling? I think there's a lot of pretty girls out there, so if you can't be kind and work hard, there's no reason to do it. What's your favorite dish your mom cooks? My favorite dish my mom cooks is probably spaghetti bolognese, but it's the only thing she cooks. <laughs> Okay, what's the most played track on your phone? Most played track on my phone is uh, anything at a bond. Okay. If you had to give away every pair of shoes but three pairs, which pairs would you keep? Probably my Doc Martens, my Air Force Ones, and my riding boots. <laughs> okay, travel questions. Window or aisle seat? Uh, window. What's a cure for jet lag? Water. <laughs> In the past month, roughly how many planes have you been on? I counted today, 17. What? <laughs> What's the most interesting city you've been to in the past two weeks? Uh, Singapore. Uh, what's the longest you've gone without sleeping because of work? Probably two days, but I'm a really, really good napper. Okay, Bella, best habit? I guess being kind. Worst habit? I guess being kind. You could switch lives for a day with anyone. Who would it be? Um, I'm really happy in my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> what movie can you watch over and over again without ever getting tired? Mamma Mia. And what's the most thoughtful gift you've ever received? Probably this bracelet. I keep it with me all the time. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, oh. are you coughing? Uh, what's the best gift you've ever given? Um, I guess my love. <laughs> and what's your earliest memory? My earliest memory is going to the barn with my family and watching my little brother collect crystals on the floor and riding with my sister. Bella, let's wrap this interview up by you deciding what music you want as we show you riding off into the sunset. I would love some emotional holiday music. You got it. Yeah? Cue the music. Let's do it. Let's see if you want. Thank you.